Welcome back to Sous Vide Everything, guys. Today, a ratatouille experiment together with a beautiful Wagyu tomahawk steak. Check it out. And these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using today. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. Here we have an eggplant, zucchini. This is a yellow zucchini, a red bell pepper, which we're going to be using to make our sauce. One of the things that is basically a requirement to make a ratatouille is a mandolin. And I love this one. The good thing about it is that you're able to make the thickness you want. By just twisting the back to one, two, three, and four, you're able to choose different sizes. But you got to treat the mandolin with respect. Trust me, it's dangerous. You can chop off your finger and won't even know it until it's already too late. And my recommendation for that not to happen is you have to use a guard. Check this one out. If I grab the zucchini and I stick it in, you can see that it's perfect. This will give me full control, but most importantly, my finger will be out of the way. And if you are unfamiliar with mandolin, this is how it works. You just glide the vegetables through the blade and you're good to go. Now you are able to do this with a knife, but I'm telling you right now, you would just take way too long. It is always best to work more efficiently, but be safe. Do not cut your finger off. Off. Always use a guide. Now here's another tip. If you hate using a guard, this is your next best option. It is a wired meshed glove. Now this is way more expensive, but you have a lot of uses for it. I definitely recommend if you butcher a lot of meat like me, it will keep you safe from anything, even a shark. <laughs> I'm joking, but at the same time, I'm not. It is the best you can get. But now that you understand the safety of the mandolin, and once I was done cutting all the vegetables, this is what I got. As you can see, perfectly cut slices, which is exactly what you're looking for when you're making ratatouille. The next step is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is try to put them all together in the same sequence. It is up to you the order you make them. The only thing you gotta keep in mind is that it will affect your presentation. So make it as nice as you can. To season them, it's pretty straightforward. I started off with a little bit of salt, freshly ground black pepper, and garlic powder. Even though we're seasoning these vegetables just like this, we're also gonna be making amazing sauce to go along with it. So the only thing you gotta keep in mind is to make sure you season them well. The next step is to bag them up and get them ready for sous vide. Now you went through all that troubling of putting them in order, make sure you don't mess it up. Carefully add them to the bag set by set. Using your vacuum sealer, seal it up and get it ready for sous vide. Talking about that, I'm gonna be cooking all of them in the same container at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. These are the leftovers for my vegetables and we're gonna transform them into an amazing sauce. We never let anything go to waste. I started off with a little bit of oil, then I threw in a little bit of shallots, garlic, all of the trimmings of the vegetables that was left over, mix them well and make sure everything is coated with the oil and also the garlic and shallots. Then throw in the red bell pepper and cook them well. Season them well with salt, freshly ground black pepper and mix it well. Now add a good amount of tomato sauce and combine all the ingredients together. Let it cook under low heat until all the vegetables are nice and soft. The next thing to do is to throw everything into your blender and mix it well. You want it to have almost kind of like a puree. And by the time you're done, this is what you're looking for. And make sure you taste it because it should taste amazing. That is the base of your ratatouille. By the time I was done, all of my vegetables were fully cooked. So I quickly opened up the bag and they were ready for assembly. Using my small little cast iron, I first started with the sauce. Make sure to put a nice generous amount. Then carefully lay all your vegetables on top. Remember, they are 100% fully cooked, so they will be extremely soft. By the time I was done with the first assembly, on the second one I wanted to try something different. So I got a little bit of puff pastry and set it all the way around the cast iron. I'm really hoping that the puff pastry will give something extra to this ratatouille. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I'm hoping it does. This is either gonna be a great success or a terrible fail because I've never seen anyone doing ratatouille like this. As you can see, by the time I was done, this is what it looks like. The only reason I didn't put it on the bottom is because I knew the sauce will make it extremely soggy. So after putting a good amount of sauce on the bottom, all there was left to do is to put my vegetables on top. To finish it off, I added a little bit of egg wash to the edges and added flaky salt and my ratatouilles were ready. But as you know, we love meat and there's no way that we're gonna eat this by itself. As the label says, it is a Wagyu marbling score 8 and 9. Even without opening the packaging, you already know it's gonna be amazing. After opening it up, this is what I got. It is a four-bone Wagyu tomahawk export rib. This, my friends, is as good as it gets. Now, when you get a wonderful piece of meat like this, you have a few options. You could either cook it whole or you can separate it into beautiful Wagyu tomahawk steaks. And for today, I decided not to cook 
cooked the whole thing at once. So the first step was to remove all the meat between the bones. Now if you think we're gonna throw this away, you are absolutely out of your mind. These friends are absolutely delicious. And it's what I like to call sous vide master privilege. The next step is to cut them in beautiful Wagyu tomahawks. And check this out. That is what you're looking for when you see a marbling score between 8 and 9. It's perfectly balanced with a ratio of fat and meat. And by the time I was done with all the butchering, I was left with beautiful tomahawk steaks. That right there, my friends, is everything a carnivore ever looked for in beef. I'm telling you right now, if you never had it, you should. You deserve it. Whenever you're butchering it yourself, you do have an option of trimming out the bone as much as possible. And if you do that, you're going to French the bones and make it as pretty as possible. But even though I like the presentation of a nice clean bone, today I'm not going to be doing any additional Frenching. I want to eat off that bone. Whenever you're seasoning a high-end piece of meat like this, you gotta keep it simple. So for that, I only added salt and freshly ground black pepper, nothing else. The next thing to do is to bag it up and get it ready for sous vide. But now that I have my beautiful tomahawk ready, it's time to get it ready for the water bath. I'm gonna be cooking it at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for three and a half hours. And I can't wait to eat it up. I got my beautiful Wagyu tomahawk, which was cooked at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it's thick, so you gotta cook it for a little longer. I cooked it for a total of three and a half hours. With that being said, it's ready and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. If you can only smell how wonderful this Wagyu tomahawk smells, everybody, you already know it's gonna be something special. Now, here's the deal. You wanna save these juices. You can use make a sauce if you like, but it's so little that I'd rather save it, make a bunch of it, and save it for another steak. This steak is so good that it doesn't need a sauce. You already know that. You wanna really taste the actual steak, not the sauce itself. With that being said, I have two ratatouille as you saw it. One of them, without the puff pastry, I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and sear it with a torch. The other one is gonna go straight in the oven with that puff pastry. And we're gonna find out which one is best. Now all there's left to do is, I know I gotta pet it dry so I can get a wonderful sear. And I'm gonna be using the flamethrower so I can get edge to edge perfection. But I know, this Wagyu Tomahawk right now doesn't look that good. But watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our, what do you think, Omar? Huh? I love it. Look at that, we have a beautiful steak. Rata, have you ever had ratatouille? I've never had ratatouille. My very first time as well. I'm excited to find out what it tastes like. I know that it's about for the movies. You know the little yeah, rat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody knows if you have kids, you guys know what I'm talking about. So we have two ratatouilles. One has puff pastry around it. Okay. The other one is just the original virgin. And then we have a beautiful Wagyu tomahawk. Which one you want to try first? The Wagyu. Come on, Come on. Come on. <laughs> What kind of question is that? Why get them a hot? All right, let's go for it then. Go for it. As you guys know, oh, it's just butter, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so soft. That is butter on a steak. That's how you can describe a one you tomahawk like that, everybody. It's a steak flavored butter. Exactly. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. If you never had it, you gotta give it a try. Mm, I'm good with this. Mm? I'm good already. <laughs> that was incredible. Now we're gonna go for the ratatouille. Right. Shall we go over with the puff pastry or without it? Let's try the plain one. Let's first. try the plain one. Oh, it's a little hot still, Omar. <laughs> All right, let's try the plain one. Sous vide ratatouille. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Now I understand wow. what the fuss is all about, right? <laughs> oh, the sauce is really nice. It has a wonderful, nice flavor of the sauce mm -hmm. combined with the vegetables. 
Now I understand what the fuss is all about. I've always seen people doing like, go like, Ratatouille is amazing. I'm like, come on, it's just vegetables. No, but it's really good. It's really yeah. nice. My mom is in a different place. Now I'm wondering, how's it gonna taste with the puff pastry? I'm just gonna grab my knife around it to make sure, I'm gonna go all the way around to make sure that it gets unstuck from the actual cast iron. All right, my mom's in. this one's mine. All right. With the puff pastry. Surprisingly, the puff pastry cooked all the way through because it's right in the edges. And my theory of it, just putting on the edges worked perfectly because it's not soggy. Puff pastry ratatouille, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh, really? For you, it's just mmm? Yeah. For me, it's mmm. No, I mean, I like it, but it's not like, it didn't blow my mind. That's really? Like yeah. But which one you prefer, with it or without it? Uh, with it. With it? Yeah. But it didn't blow your mind? No, it's... My mind is blown. <laughs> Definitely try with the puff pastry, everybody. My recommendation is if you're gonna make it, make it both so that your family members can try it because people might have different opinions, just like my family does. Well, Mark didn't like it so much, yeah? It's good, but it's not my thing. <laughs> I enjoyed it with the puff pastry a lot more. I, I would say you enjoyed this one better. Oh. I'll take this one. You'll take that one? I think the Parmesan cheese did something here too. Because mm. this one has more flavor than the puff pastry. There you go. It's yeah. much more flavorful. So definitely, if you're gonna do this one here, everybody, with the puff pastry, put the Parmesan cheese on top as well, oh, okay. because then it's gonna be even better. Maybe that's why, why it's throwing me off. I forgot about the Parmesan for a second. Parmesan did made, it, made something. Anyway guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care everybody, bye-bye.